About four or five years ago, I had this idea to build this sick pitching mound, like a do-it-yourself pitching mound, portable pitching mound, you know, a homemade pitching mound, something you can make at home, and it was gonna be easy to carry, just something that was cost-effective because some of those pitching mounds they sell online are super expensive. It was sick, I had it all planned out. I even bought all the stuff. In fact, let me stop talking, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going into my garage here, and I got all the wood over here. I got the pieces for the pitching mound. I even cut out the proper slope on the uh, side pieces. I've got the back side. So I was gonna cut these right in half, put some hinges so it folds up on itself. I bought hinges over here, I had a handle to pull the thing, wheels so it can roll. I had everything that I needed to build this thing, but it's just been sitting there. Now let's fast forward a few years and I get a message from this guy Brock on Facebook and he builds his own mounds just like the one I was trying to build. Let's open this thing up and see what it's about. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So first impression, this thing is super sick, man. It's built so well, um, just from the looks of it. But now we gotta do the fat boy test. Let's see if it holds up. Yeah. I weigh about 260, 270 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up for the fat boy test. One thing I noticed though, is it doesn't have a rubber. That's the only thing so far that I found that could be an issue. Fortunately, I have a rubber from the old mound that I was gonna build that I could attach here pretty easily, I believe. Let's check out what's underneath this bad boy. Hey, a rubber! My bad, Brock. You got it right here. And a bungee cord. Now I assume we just put the rubber up here. I think I just found a pre-made hole right here, which would be awfully convenient, Mr. Brock. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so cool. here and then you also got a handle over here on the side not uh, super light but definitely not hard to move around for sure hold up I forgot we got to put the wheels on the outside part let's do that real quick ah I just smacked myself with the bungee man leave a thumbs up if that's ever happened to you leave a thumbs down if you think I'm a big idiot and should pay more attention to what I'm doing Feels so soft. I love it. Wrong hole. Boom! We're mobile. All right, now. 
now let's see how it is with the wheels. Yeah. Now we got wheels. Oh snap! This is sick! Training some pitchers tonight, so I'm gonna let them test this thing out and get some real pitchers up there. First of all, this turned out way better than anything I could have done. What probably would have happened was I would have tried to build this same thing or something similar. Mine, to my vision, only folded once. This folds three times and obviously is a lot more compact. And this is way better than anything that I even thought of or could, could have built. Obviously, the stuff's still sitting out in the garage for a reason. And what would have happened was I probably would have tried to put it together. I would have got pissed and because things weren't working the way I wanted to, and then it would have been half together for another few years, and then I probably would have gave up on it. But this right here came all together, and it's super sick. And it only took me five minutes to put this stuff on, the wheels and the rubber, maybe 10 minutes tops. I was videoing and, and testing everything out, but it took no time at all to put it together. So my review for this thing so far is that it's awesome. Obviously, I can't speak to its durability because I've only had it for a few hours now, uh, but I will shoot a video later, maybe a year or so from now, and, and see how it holds up, but I'm all in right now. And th the great thing about this is, the pitching mounds online, sell, well, I was telling you before, they sell for crazy amounts of dollars. This is 275 with shipping. Shipped anywhere in the US, I believe. I don't know, you're gonna have to find out from Brock. I don't have anything to do with this. I'm not making any money off of this. You could check out more. He's actually got some more models that sell for like 120 bucks. So you can't beat that. Even for 275, I would have, I spent probably close to that already. And then you gotta add in your time that you're gonna put in to try to build that thing. No way, I'm in with this all day long. It took about 10 days to receive it. Uh, again, you can check out more information on playerschoicemounds.com. I'll leave a link down below so you can get that spelling correct. And again, these are all homemade by Brock himself. So if you have any questions, I'm sure uh, his information is on the website if you want to hit him up or whatever. And if you're looking to build your own do-it-yourself pitching mound or portable pitching mound, then you might want to take a look at his website anyway. First of all, see if it's going to cost you that much to make it yourself. Secondly, you can probably check out some of his plans and how the mound works because this thing is sick. And if I had the intelligence to create this thing, I would do it too. But why when it's so cheap and it gets shipped to you and you don't have to do anything? Sorry guys, you're now hurricane shutters. You are just scrap wood. It's been real.